Thanks so much for playing Hallways. I'm here with Clinton and Monica, um, some of our members from River Valley Worship. It's always an honor. We've been talking about the songs on the album, the impact they're having on our church and really on the world. And this song, Hallways, I love this song. I want to ask this question right off the top. What, What was the inspiration behind the lyrics of the song? In particular, it talks a lot about eternity. Um, and bring some really cool perspectives in regards to eternity. So what, what was the inspiration behind that? Uh, I, was, I would say, like, I think the, one of the cool aspects of this, I don't know if it was Pastor Ryan or Evan, John, that brought this up, but he reminded me of um, 
the scripture in Revelation that talks about just joining the angels, crying, holy, 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 yeah. you know? Yeah. And so just the trying to harmonize with the, the angels in heaven, that concept of, of making these, you know, declaring this age old uh, truth that God is holy, sovereign. Come on. And there's no one like him. And we were trying to articulate that yeah. in a song. And then for me, the eternity perspective as well is, um, I think it's Philippians 3.20, I'll probably butcher scripture here. <laughs> um, but just the fact that the, the scripture reminds us that our citizenship is not yeah. here. Our right. citizenship yeah. is in heaven. Right. And so uh, trying to articulate that or convey that in the song is always mm -hmm. a fun challenge. But uh, I think that's the that's where we were trying to yeah. get at and remind yeah. our people, the body of yeah. the body of believers, Christ Church, yeah. that you know heaven is our home. Come on, you know, not this place. And it's cool you said that because I've I've had conversations with people that say, believe it or not, say I never I never thought about it before until this song that yeah. this that this life is a hallway right, right. Um, to, to something greater and to eternity and it's cool to see people process that because I've I'll just tell you I've heard stories people in our church um, and around the world that say hey I was walking through something and that was really pulling me down and this song changed everything because wow. it reminded me that that it's the, the road is always longer right. than I understand or right. what I see and so I love so I love that you shared that um, going going off of that topic of like how it how it's impacted people how it makes them feel what they think about um, as you're singing the song what's what's something you want it to evoke in people like they're singing the song what do we want them to think and feel I think it's cool this song particularly for a worship song, I mean, you can have so many different, like, obviously the focus in worship song is always Jesus, but yeah. the perspective in which you're singing can sometimes take different, like, formation. And this song is so, like, just Jesus, you are yes. holy. Like, we our eyes to you. And I feel like when we sing this song congregationally, you just feel that in the room. Like, there's just an overall reverence and mm -hmm. I think awe that kind of, like, the atmosphere in the room feels that way yeah. because... It's hard not to when you're singing, right. holy, right. holy yeah, are you, real. Lord Almighty, there's none like you. Yeah, for real. I love. Yeah, I love that you said that because um, that's that's a powerful moment in the song, obviously. Um, but as I think of the song, too, like there's moments where we're singing holy, holy together, and there's moments where the song uh, feels really big. Yeah, you yeah. guys decided, like the song ends um, kind of quieter, more reflective mm -hmm. like was that something that was intentional or how do you how do you decide like man this is how we're going to wrap up this song but i love the ending people talk about that a lot yeah like yeah. i'm singing this at the end and it's i think we love we love the the journey of yeah. the song mm -hmm. it, you know so uh, it doesn't always work out like that but i think it's right. always it's always pretty dope and anointed <laughs> i think the dope and anointing can be paired uh <laughs> Uh, I think I think it's always fun when you can you can take people yes. on a journey. Mm -hmm. I think oftentimes in church, especially a celebratory culture like we have, um, we love to go for these mountaintop like Mount Everest mm -hmm. moments. And I think it's really uh, still fun and just as powerful, maybe sometimes more, when you can uh, take people on a journey uh, yeah. because that's how life is. You mm -hmm. know, uh, life has twists and turns and ups yeah, and downs. Hundred percent. So to be able to skyrocket we feel like in this song but also then yes i mean maybe there was also a moment where we're floating around a tarmac a little bit before we landed but i, I mean i'm down for it all so yeah, yeah. I, I love where it went with that last verse i just think it's cool because it kind of like like he said with the journey wraps it all up mm. with the like it's all been worth it your yeah, race is right. completed yes and I love the I prepared the place I promised because I think it gives the perspective of like God now speaking wow. to the people in yes. in the room and the people yeah. hearing the song. Yes. And it reminds me of the verse, the well done and good and faithful servant. I think mm -hmm. you kind of get that perspective of like this is all we're here on earth. It's it's a glimpse and it's um, it yeah. feels like it can be so long, but yeah. it's a moment in the aspect of eternity and i think that verse really gives Dude, that perspective i forgot about that see that's for the, real that's the beauty of different perspective yeah i love that you shared that because i like just the well done like that feeling yeah. we know that scripture i love that you brought that scripture into it um because that's like i know i've had that feeling singing the song mm -hmm. like this is the closest like 
hear, singing these lyrics, processing what God's saying. This is the closest, like in my mind, um, painting the picture of the journey. Yeah. This is what it will be like the day that that we stand before the Lord. And so, wow. what an amazing, like, for real. Thanks for for bringing that perspective. Could you could you show us or explain quickly how to play the song yeah, yeah, yeah. for those that we got the old trusty would love to here. learn. So, um, I think the original is in D, right? The original is in D, I believe. So, um, the verse is to kind of geek out a little bit. We uh, we like to talk in the Nashville number system. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's pretty, we try to keep it pretty simple. It's, uh, um, sing the verse for me, Mom. The first verse? So, that's like one over three, four. And then back on the one chord. We could end on the last verse. The, it's all been worth it. Here and now your race completed. I prepared the place I promised. Step out of the old world. Welcome home. So that's just one over three, four chord, one. That's every verse is doing that. Um, and then um, the the pre-chorus is mm -hmm. is just a four one back to the five and then the chorus chords are one over three four five and the six chord. Yeah, that's awesome. For real. Uh, I want to ask you guys one more question. You know, you, you both, uh, as you talked about the perspective of the song being about eternity, being about life's journey. Um, I think it's cool, you know, even even looking at what the world's been going through, yeah. what the church has been walking through. Um, why, why do you think it's important, a song like this, um, to focus on eternity, to mm -hmm. be reminded? Yeah, I, I think um, I'm reminded of Again, with all the scripture that we have that reminds us that this is not our home, mm. I think it helps me keep proper perspective yeah. of not losing my junk down yeah. here yes. on home when we're in the midst of, you know, even in this season, as we record this video, we find ourselves in the midst of a uh, uh, health pandemic and yeah. uh, racial pandemic yep. and all kinds of stuff. You right. know? And uh, for me personally, not to lose my junk, I think it's important to keep yeah. my my uh, perspective on the kingdom. I love that. The fact that this is temporary, and this is, as you mentioned, that as in the lyrics say, uh, that this is a hallway um, to our final home. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're gonna we're gonna love uh, this world and love the people of this world while we're in it. But, mm -hmm. but again, personally for me, it's just to, to keep perspective that yeah. I don't lose my junk down right. here. I love you that. You know, because I have a reward. But that's that's me. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Clinton, Monica, thanks so much, guys. Love you, man. Love you. We love this song.